but this crop circle was amazing. We were there and uh, we did a sound healing there. We put the information on a CD, uh, also spiritual marriage here. But the crazy thing is, a few days later, we found out that there was a light beam in that night before the crop circle was formed and you couldn't see a damn thing. But on infrared cameras, you could see after a few minutes, because he had to switch the table, fortunately, the blueprint of that thing was already there. So proof that after a few minutes, this crop circle was formed. Okay? Just, just on this topic, um, while you're on crop circles, just explain to us a little bit about how crop circles work and what they actually are. A crop circle is actually the real crop circles. I'm not talking about the, the ones humans made to debunk stuff, but the ones birds pass by like this, uh, psychics see a sphere above it, um, electromagnetics change, if the BBC goes in with a lot of batteries to film it, batteries they use in the army for, for like eight hours or whatever, and choof, they're gone, or your displays, or the, then something electromagnetically is happening. Something really changed the biophysics of the crop, of the soil, of the water under the soil, which is a perfect carrier for information transfer, a sacred geometry information, information. So you see where I'm heading at? I think it's a multi-dimensional holographic projection of sound, light and energy fields. Whatever format, it's something which gets projected onto this 2D field. We live in a 3D world, but this field is 2D to us. That's why we see these beautiful pictures. But they're not only beautiful, they also contain sacred geometry and actual formulas like an alchemist would make them, like potencies, but even more interestingly, they contain something like a sphere, because it's something like a slice of my brain screen. I'm not, not sure if you know how, how they make brain scans. You could do something like this or something like this, but just think of it of a very thin slice of my brain. Okay, now because I'm a neuropsychologist, I know about MRI scans, so I thought, hey, that's, that's, that's the clue here, because if there's a structure here in 3D, which goes like this or whatever. If you take it here, it's different than if you take it here. It could be the same thing with crop circles because they are actually projections from somewhere, okay, whatever or whoever does it, projections onto a flat surface. But the fact that it combines with matter and puts its blueprint into matter on a 2D level doesn't mean it's not higher dimensional in the first place. So, when I find out that there's an army guy telling another crop circle, he said, you should be amazed, you would be amazed how many there actually are. And she said, actually are? <laughs> I've seen a lot. Which one did I miss? Or did I, didn't I find it? Or did, the, did the, the farmer cut off all the fields? No, the ones we do not allow to be put down. What does that say? Yes, the army is involved, if that's true. Two, there is interference and sometimes things go wrong and things get chased perhaps. But three, it gives us very important information on how it works. Because this means the army has equipment, and of course they have. They always have equipment which is light years uh, from what we use in the commercial world. Equipment to measure, let's say, an incoming crop circle they can actually measure what I called, not crop circles, but air circles, because basically, I think that's the higher dimensional holographic lattice, blueprint, whatever, which is already in the air, literally, but which is not being allowed to contact matter in the form we know, earth, soil. So when it's not put down, like a stamp, you have the blueprint in your hand, and you play God.